There are three ways to classify an animal, or any other life form for that matter. The first method is monophyletic. You take a single population or species, trace all their descendants, and call that one group of life. Monophyletic groups are also called clades. This is the most common method of classification you'll see in biology, largely due to it being objective and unreliant on criteria which are only significant in specific contexts. If you're familiar with Linnaean taxonomy, it follows a monophyletic classification system, with each domain, kingdom, phyla, etc., all just being different layers of clades. The second method is paraphyletic. It starts out similar to the monophyletic classification system, in that you take a single population and trace all their descendants, but Unlike the monophyletic classification system, in a paraphyletic classification, you cut out certain clades from the larger group. For example, the invertebrates are a group containing all ancestors of the last common metazoa ancestor, minus all descendants of the last common vertebrate ancestor. You will find that paraphyletic classifications are the ones most often taught in early primary school education, because it's a lot easier to teach a child to group the world into vertebrates and inner vertebrates than it is to explain to them that vertebrates are just a single subset of the phylum chordata alongside tunicata and cephalochordata, and that the vast majority of metazoa, or I mean animals, the vast majority of animals are invertebrates who utilize a vast array of methods to support their body. The third and final way to categorize life is polyphyletic. You take two or more separate groups of animals who share a certain set of traits in common, and you categorize them as their own group together. This is done despite the fact that they may be much more distantly related to one another than they are to any number of other life forms that aren't in the polyphyletic group. Polyphyletic groups are very rarely used in science because they rely heavily on arbitrary distinctions made by us humans. An example of a polyphyletic classification is homeothermic animals a group containing endothermic mammals and birds, despite how distantly related they are. If it helps, try to understand these three classifications in the form of a family tree. The Smith family is a monophyletic unit containing Mrs. and Mr. Smith and all their descendants. After their son Timothy is caught selling large quantities of DMT to unsuspecting minors, he and his children are excommunicated from the family, creating a paraphyletic unit, the True Smiths, containing Mrs. and Mr. Smith, all their descendants, minus Timothy and all his descendants. Finally, two cousins in this family have developed an unwavering addiction to the drug benzodiamethylcholagene, forming the paraphyletic group Crackhead. Well, that's about it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.